morning everyone it's early it's cold um, I'm tired and you can probably hear that I probably don't sound 100% big I'm coming down with a cold of some kind you know what that's fine we're going to Tower London today and this is the kind of stuff that gets me up in the morning no matter how sick I am really old historic buildings you may also notice that I'm solo this morning. Sally didn't want to come to the tower. She had some other things she wanted to do. She wanted to go see um, a modern art museum, which I wasn't that interested in, so we decided to split up today. You know, that's fine. That's just the way it is. Um, it's how you've got to be when you're traveling with um, a partner, family, friends. You have to be willing to go your own way and when, when you both um, want to do something different. Um, I'm into history, she's into um, art, so I don't particularly want to go to every art museum, she doesn't want to go to every historic site, it's fine. It's um, it's going to be flexible when you're traveling with someone. But anyway, um, enough of that, what we're doing today is obviously is going to the Tower of London. Uh, for those who don't know, it's just a, it's a castle that was built around 1078, but the tower itself was built 1078 by William the Conqueror. Um, currently it houses the crown jewels and yeah there's so much more there's so much history that's happened in this place it's been used as a prison as a royal castle um you know people like Anne Boleyn were executed there there's just there's so much to see and I won't go over it too much but we're here made it to the castle it took a long time, but we're finally in. Um, massive line to get in. Going straight to see the um, crown jewels. Um, because apparently it gets really busy. And they said to go there first, so they will go check that out. And then I might go get an audio guide after that. <coughs> this place is unreal. This is why you go see them early. All right, been in the Tower of London for about two hours now. Um, I've seen the Crown Jewels, which probably took me about 45 minutes, and I got in there really early. So if you are here, go there as soon as you get here, because the line right now is massive. It's probably like hours away. It's currently the line for the Crown Jewels. I uh, did one of the beef eater tours, uh, the Yo Yeoman, I think they're called, tours. Um, they're like, they're basically the guards here or something like that. And in order to be one of these guys, you have to have served in the military for 20 years or something. It's like a perfect record just to qualify to be one of these guys. Um, the tour probably took about an hour and it's included with the, um, it's included with the omission. So it's definitely worth doing. It was really good. Just gave you a brief outline of what there is. Um, I just picked up an audio guide, a um, bit of advice, get those in advance. Like get your ticket for those in advance, I bought them here and the line was massive. Basically everything here has massive lines. Um, I'm gonna go check this out and I'll let you know if it's worth it. And we'll just check out some more of the tower. So this one here is the White Tower. It was the original tower that was built. So it was in this spot that held executions. Um, and this is where Anne Boleyn was executed. So we're looking over Tower Green. Uh, this is where it was said that Lady Jane Grey was executed. Um, over in the distance is the Queen's House. Um, it is the oldest wooden house from the Tudor period. It's also said that um, Guy Fox was also interrogated in here. Ahead of us is the Bloody Tower. It's said where the two princes actually went missing, whereas in here. One of the best views you'll get of it. Alright, so we're done here at the London Tower. Um, trying to find Sally out here somewhere. She said she'd be along here. She just came back from the museum. We found her. Hello. Good morning, it's just me today. Keith's headed out for the Tower of London and I'm about to head out for the Tate Modern now. I'm only walking past it, but here's St. Paul's Cathedral. Here's a better view of it. 
And those are the new Heatherwick designed London buses, which is cool. Made it to the Tate Modern. You ready for some modern art? I've just come from over there and that's London Bridge there and that's the shot and now I'm heading towards Tower Bridge which is where Keith is but look how cool it looks like I love I love this bridge yay look who I found <laughs> yeah, that's why Singapore. hello hello it's a view from on top of Tower Bridge Tower of London there. The Shard. We've come to Starbucks to rest up. And we got some fun drinks. And Keith is tired. He said he's sick. You don't want to get sick. So I got this pin badge at the Tower of London. Um, this is kind of our thing that we're going to be doing on this trip. We'll be collecting little little badges. If you can't tell, it's a raven. So the raven's sort of symbolic with the tower because there's a legend that um, dates back to, I think it was King Charles II. There's no evidence of it, but they say that he decreed that there must be six ravens at the tower because there was an omen that if the ravens left the Tower of London, then the tower would fall. So since then, he made sure there was always six ravens at the tower. And even this day, they still have ravens at the tower. And that's why we got the raven pin. Today's another day where we're going our own separate way. So this is probably the last time you'll see me for a little bit. Keith's going to the going to Westminster Abbey and I'm going to the National Gallery and then we'll meet up again later in the afternoon. Okay, so I made it to Westminster Abbey. Um, I'm going to keep it down because I actually went to film in here. I will take photos, so I'm sorry I can't really show any of this. Um, it was quite a wait to get in, uh, to get through security, but but we tickets online, so I've got to jump after security to get in. Like everything else here, there's a massive line. I'm um, just about to see the Jubilee. Um, display they have here for an extra five pounds, which should be pretty good. There are so many stairs to get up here. <laughs> Didn't really think of that. It's a bit rough when you're sick. Hope this comes out okay. Still a quick view out here. Alright, I'm gonna stop filming now. Just got done with Westminster Abbey. I'm um, sort of in the courtyard area. I think I'm allowed to film here because everyone seems to be taking photos and staff doesn't seem to be caring about it. This place is spectacular. It's like, a, I can't describe it. There's so many tombs and just like kings and queens that are here. They're all buried here. All the coronations have been here. Um, it's like the tombs of like all these famous poets and, and artists like Geoffrey Chaucer. And I did the um, Diamond Jubilee thing, which is actually five pounds, which is really good. Um, not just for all the old relics, but also because um, you get amazing views of looking down into um, the abbey itself. Like, in, and you get like probably the best view you can get of um, um, Edward the Confessor's um, shrine. You can't really see that. You can't actually go in there. I'd highly recommend buying that. It's extra five pounds. I think it was totally worth it. Buy it in advance though, because um, you have those sort of time slots. I'd also book your tickets in advance for this. Um, there seems there was like a massive line that you get to skip if you purchase your tickets. Um, anyway, I think I'm done here. I'm just gonna go to the shop quickly and see if I can find Sally. That's where we're going to see Hamilton. Are you excited? Yeah. This is our view for Hamilton. Probably should turn this off now. See you after the show. Okay, so we're back from Hamilton now and we're at our hostel and everything. Right now it is 11.16, so it's almost midnight. We're not doing anything for New Year's Eve, but that's okay, because we saw Hamilton and it was amazing and I loved it. Did you like it? Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. I like the king. Yeah, the king was funny. <laughs> He'll be back. Yeah, so right now we're just packing. This is the current state of things. We have an early start tomorrow. Yeah, so that's where we're like packing now. 
instead of tomorrow. And I just wanted to say, I went to the National Gallery and I saw a bunch of these artworks I'd studied that I didn't know that were there, including Arnold Fini's portrait. So I bought a postcard of it and I love it. And Keith got this at Westminster Abbey. Oh my god. I love it. It's so derpy. It's a corgi with a crown. Perfect for representing England. Focus. What? <laughs> That's all for. Is it all for from us? All from us? That's all from all for all from, all us. from us. That's all from us for now, and we'll see you next year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching.